first giving honor and glory to God who was ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. Happy, happy Monday. <sighs> happy New Week. Y'all, getting the kids to school, well, Teriana now today. Deanna didn't go because I had an interview today. Um, it's clear across town. So, going all the way back toward the airport is just too much. So, I'm just sitting here at the park, um, you know, checking out some, see if some people call me back for some apartments and, you know, I got an interview here later on. So, I got some time to kill. And so, I'm out here at the park. I got my Bible, got my water, I got my little peanuts, and I'm going to just hang out and talk to y'all as much as the Lord wants me to deliver. And so, y'all, sometimes I don't really want to get on here and tell my business but i'd be like lord why you want me to tell my business you know what i'm saying but like i told y'all before <laughs> my business is his business and if his business is my business and my business is his business and we about the father's business then sometimes i gotta tell y'all my business because it's his business so y'all know this whole situation about like moving and me i had to quit my job my teaching job because of everything that was going on with teriana and couldn't keep a job always had to leave work and all that and all that so the stability like wasn't there these are not hickeys <laughs> i was looking at my video today i said oh them look like hickeys no those are not hickeys those are war scars and so um okay so i had to quit my job right and then the eviction and all this stuff so now that we're in this place you know they're gonna help pay up your rent you have to show them that you make two times the amount of rent. But with the uh, with the people that you get approved for, you already know it's three times the amount of rent and all this and all that, right? I don't have scripture for what I'm saying. But if there's a scripture that come to mind for you, as you're listening, you can go ahead and put it in the comments below. But I think that this is just for somebody. And I want you guys to know, and the Lord was telling me, this is no judgment. Uh, we're not here to like uh cast nobody down and all that for the things the different things that we do to survive you know what i'm saying um so y'all know it's three times the amount of rent right the homeless people in order for them to pay they just want to see that you can pay the rent they only want to see two times the amount of rent but the other people they want to see three times the amount i'm like i ain't got three times the amount of rent like i we just gonna need favor but i'm like okay well i do know people who can um do some paycheck stubs or whatever like i've done it before like don't get me wrong like i've done it before but i'm just like i'm really not in a mood to have to go through all that because you got to pay the people for the paycheck subs i don't really have you know what i'm saying as far as my um resources like i'm pretty much out of money y'all like <laughs> come on now like i'm doing this all alone you know in groceries i don't know why and what's wrong with the system right now but i'm not receiving any food stamps so just imagine the strain you know what i mean but um i was like okay well maybe i can just you know get some paycheck stubs or whatever and you know i can show them or whatever and then when i get over there i can just show them you know when if i get a new job just you know because they just want to see the job offer and you know so that you can pay or whatever and so i was out as i was meditating on it's like okay yeah i'm gonna do the paycheck stubs i'm gonna you know just do whatever right and the lord was telling me not this time He's, he was saying that he wants to show me that when you're walking with Christ and when you're trying to do your best and when you're believing God for certain things and when you're really, really serious about God, he was saying that he wants to show me that we don't operate in the world's systems. He said, I want to show you that you don't operate in the world systems. I want I should have cut this little piece. It's starting to get on my nerves now. Um... I'm trying to do like a little messy look, you know, I'm trying to look cute or whatever, because I feel good. When you look good, you feel good. And um, and I get tired of sitting down and driving. Y'all do a lot of driving. I was just, Lord, I'm so tired of this. I can't wait till Thanksgiving break. I can get a break from driving back and forth. Like I'm driving far to take the kids just to keep them in school. And so, but what he was saying is, it's going to be quick. What he was saying is, he just wants to show me us whoever who, who have been thinking about it or whatever i know this is confirmation for somebody because i've been sitting on it for a few days 
Because <clears throat> so I'm like, I don't want to tell them my business. They don't even know I do paycheck stuff. Like, that's what everybody do now. Like, the people in the office don't even make three times that amount of rent. You want me to make three times that amount of rent, amount of rent but you don't even make three times that amount of rent. How you get your spot? Paycheck stubs. But <laughs> the Lord was saying, no. I want to show you that when we're operating on the kingdom's system, that, you know, the Bible says that, oh, thank you, Lord, scripture. He said that, Oh, no, not he. Well, yeah, he did say, you know, part of the scripture that says the king's heart is in the Lord's hand and he will turn it whichever way he chooses. That means that God is in control of everything. He's in control of man. He's in control of, you know, everything. And he will decide. He will put it on somebody's heart to approve you. He will put it on somebody's heart to get you what you need. He will put it on somebody's heart to show you favor. Look at all these squirrels. He will put it on somebody's heart to show you favor. We don't have to operate in the world's kingdom. We operate in the kingdom of God. And God was saying that that is what he wants to show me. So, girl, don't be worrying about no paycheck studs. Don't be worrying about how to scheme and scam. Because I'm like trying, trying to figure out a way how to scheme and scam to get approved and all that. With an eviction on my record and credit just shot to hell. Like, how am I going to do this, Father God? Like, how is it going to work? Time is ticking and all that. But then I had to you know, remind myself, like, be at peace, you know what I'm saying, and the word that I gave y'all the other day about dwelling, that blessed me as well, like, in the presence is peace and comfort, and knowing that he got it, and he's working all things together for our good, so that's what he wanted me to share this morning, I have a couple, few other words that I want to share too, but um, that is mainly one of the things that he was saying as I'm embarking on this journey, that, you know, we don't have to operate the way that the world operates. You know what I'm saying? We operate on a different playing field and that's kingdom, baby. Kingdom, supernatural favor, supernatural grace. Luke 252 me, baby. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and found favor with what? God and man. So he's gonna turn the hearts of the kings and the people and do what, do what needs to be done and to get what we need done to where we don't have to scheme and scam. Cause trust me, baby, I've schemed and scammed plenty of times. I've got paycheck subs. I've got this. I've done this. I've, Baby, I've done it. I've done it. But he said, not this time. So that's all I wanted to say. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23. And until the next time. Inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.